My name is Darren Williams, and I'm the owner of the Cottonwood Cabin Tree Houses. I want to take you on a quick tour of, of the tree house and explain to you how we built them. We bought this um, property back in 2000. One of the original reasons we bought the property was because of the cottonwoods, these huge cottonwood trees. Well, when we first got here, there was no, no structures on this side. And basically what we did was you can see where the, the logs are suspended. There's logs that are suspended. There's no nails in the trees. I, I had some boat builders come out here and we, um, we suspended these logs with cables. And then we, we also supported them with other logs from the, down below just to give it more stability. Originally, um, it was just the, the house that was underneath the trees. And this is the ladder here that went up to the tree house before we built the, the staircase. This is the original tree house that was right underneath these three trees. They're about 12 foot apart. We put the logs up and then we put the deck on. And then me and a friend, um, uh, I think it was probably about 2002, we built the, uh, the original treehouse structure. This is the original treehouse structure here. You'll, you'll be in there later and you can kind of see uh, how that, the original treehouse was built. And then as we, as we go through here, you can kind of see how each section was put on. About 70% of the materials were all recycled materials that I just picked up from job sites and like some of these beams came from a, the church building that we remodeled. And then this staircase here came from uh, the church, uh, also the church remodel. After we had this up for a few years, we wanted to build a, be a better staircase instead of just a, a, a ladder. So um, we put up this, this wall here, back here, and then we put the staircase up to there. And then we just kind of had a deck up here and each section probably took two or three years to build. And so we put this deck on here so then you could go up and then you could enter the, the tree house through um, off of this deck. And then we just kind of slowly built it up. We, we enclosed that and then we went up another level a couple years after that. And then we finally put the roof over the whole thing just like maybe about seven or eight years ago. The pump house was totally separated from the structure to start with and we once we realized that we were going to have people come out here to stay, they needed their own bathroom. So we turned the pump house into the bathroom. Then we extended the a whole structure over this whole thing. We made a, a platform. Then we put a, a, a new cistern that, that um, is, uh, provides water for the whole property. That got everything kind of connected. The way the cistern works and how we get water on the property is we have water hauled in from a, a, a water company so the water's potable. So the, the water on this property, the well water is not, is not good. It has um, too much minerals in it. So we have to have it hauled in. So this cistern, uh, it, it feeds everything with water on the property. That original room is, is a bathroom, is only a bathroom now. It used to just have a, a, a cistern with like a tank liner in there. We just kind of upgraded and made a larger tank. So this is the staircase that goes up into the tree houses that accesses both tree houses. Low bridge. So now we're up the staircase into the uh, into the treehouse stairwell. We're gonna go into treehouse two. We call it treehouse two, or we call it the field house, and you'll you'll see why we call it the field house. So this is treehouse two. The reason we call it the field house is kind of obvious. We got these big windows. They they were leftover windows from the condos on the spit, and they were given to us. And so you can just see the, the great view of the field behind our house. And basically you can look out on this field and see no, um, no structures, no power lines, no, you know, no houses. It's just, you're looking out just on, it's just green, green, green fields. Now we are standing directly above the cistern. The cistern is right below us. And we, so we built this big deck that spanned the old cistern bathroom all the way over to um, the existing treehouse and since the cistern was right directly below we were like well we might as well put bathrooms because we can just access the water and the sewer right there so treehouse two has its own bathroom so there's a bathroom and then if you go up the stairs there is um, a, a loft with a queen size bed and a, a single bed You'll see the, the different views, but the main view from Treehouse 2 would be the field. And then like the um, original Treehouse, 
there's uh there's you can see across the bay and there's three glaciers you can see right out the windows and then the upper deck has a pan panoramic view of the field and you can see the homer spit and you can also see the glaciers uh, we had the idea to um, basically provide about the same sp space as the original treehouse with a, a little more planning the original treehouse was kind of patched together this was one big room so we were able to uh, build the loft which basically you don't have to go up two stories and the, the loft is about four foot tall up there, so there's a little bit of room to move around. Whereas in the tree house, uh, the loft is very small. It wasn't quite as planned out as well. So we put this uh, beam across here, and I'll have to say that um, uh, about 10 years ago, I milled a bunch of uh, a deck of logs, uh, spruce logs, and a lot of the beam structures came from the milling of those logs. And so this big beam, uh, this big post here is just a piece of driftwood off the beach. And then uh, we had a guy design the ship ladder that went in that that went right in here and uh, and and gains you access to the to the loft. And then there and then we finished it off with spruce poles just for safety, so nobody would fall. It's a little more open than the treehouse, a little more planned out than the original treehouse. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and it always you know when you get done with the project, you're always like, well, if I could have made it a another foot wider, we would have had a little more space in the bathrooms. This bathroom actually has pretty good space for everything. The treehouse bathroom is a little smaller. Um, and basically we just, you know, I just grafted out on a piece of graph paper and figured out where the walls were going to be and how much, uh, you know, how much room each bathroom was going to be. And then we decided on the fixtures in the bathrooms. The treehouse too was not built with uh, recycled materials, not like the original treehouse. This was a little more deliberate and planned out. In the design of the of the living area, the downstairs of the treehouse too, we have a futon couch and that folds up into a couch. And then also uh, just a, a counter for the kitchen space, uh, a mini refrigerate, refrigerator and uh, hot and cold running water. So this is kind of the the um, the layout of the downstairs of the treehouse too. So there's a there's a pressurized uh, water system that comes off the cistern, and then there's a pressure tank, and then that um, that tank gets pumped up, and then that pressurizes everything, and then it sends the water to the hot water heaters, and then from there, you know, we can go from from cold or hot water to plumb it into the the kitchens and the bathrooms. The hot water is, right now it's electric. There is a propane tank down there. We did have a propane heater in the treehouse, but we don't have one right now. We're actually getting ready to convert everything to um, like a boiler system. There's like five different rooms that have to be heated um, in the winter time. We're, we're gonna have a, uh, a boiler system that pumps hot water to, all, uh, to uh, radiator heaters in all the units. I've experienced that it, we don't get a lot of uh, movement. I mean, there's some movement, but probably not more than it would be like for a regular house. My theory is that the roots actually stabilize the heaving. You know, I don't think the ground underneath the treehouse heaves a lot, maybe because the roots stabilize things, but we don't get a lot of motion. Uh, sometimes when we have, you know, winter storms, uh, we had one person stay in the in the treehouse in the wintertime, and he says he felt like he was on a boat because it was just kind of kind of gently swaying, you know, <laughs> so kind of moving back and forth. So it does it does move some, but the ground really doesn't move, and we're able to plumb and and put electricity into everything without you know without any problems. Now we're gonna go into the um, we call it the upper deck. And it's basically three stories up. We access it through a ship ladder. So we'll go up there now. So this is the upper deck and this is a commons area for the whole property. This was just uh, basically, uh, it was going to be uh, kind of an open porch idea, just to, like a viewing deck. And you can see the spit from up here. And in the winter time when the leaves are gone, you can see the glaciers. And then you have, we do have a, a view of the field. So the idea up here was just to pretty much make it pure windows. And when we first built it, it was just completely open. There was no windows. And then we eventually we put the, um, we put the roof on and uh, enclosed it and, and have finished it off. And then before we put the windows in, we actually put a fireplace in here and we tied a block and tackle to a, a beam and then 
tied it, the, the fireplace was down on the ground. We tied the rope around that and then we ran it up to the block and tackle and then ran that to a car bumper and then the car just took off and the, and the, sto and the fireplace came up and we just brought it through the wall. And so we have a fireplace, people can have fires and, and I come out here with my buddies and we smoke cigars and drink whiskey and, and yuck it up. In the winter time we can, we can have a fire in here and it gets pretty warm. We can, you can close the, the hatch and it is pretty, pretty well enclosed and insulated. It's nice to have music and so uh, up here and we've had, you know, different things in different times. But we got, I picked up some old records at a garage sale. And so we have a record player and we can listen to records as well. And kind of gives you that nostalgic feel like you're not so connected to everything, uh, you know, uh, all, all the electronic stuff kind of getting back to, back to the thing, how things used to be, you know. Our next phase, which I haven't started yet, would be to, um, to create a, a, another, an, a, another area out here. We're going to probably put another deck out there and then um, maybe build like a yurt or something out there just for another, uh, another area, just for fun. And a lot of it, you know, a lot of this originally it was just for fun. We weren't really thinking about starting a business with it. And um, it just kind of turned morphed into a business. So I try to keep the fun aspect of it, like the upper deck. It's a commons area, so I can come up here. And even if we're renting, I can still come up here and hang out and be by a fire. And this is actually another area. And what we we're going to do is I was going to make some stairs here. And you could actually you could actually access this other deck. And you would, uh, you would, walk, you would walk on the tree limb. Just kind of get you... Um, a little more into nature and and make really feeling like you're in the trees and there's uh there's something magical about being in trees and we have people come here that uh plan on going on fishing trips and they they get in the tree houses and then they they just sleep for like 12 hours and they get in they get in there and there's something about being um, in the trees that's really magical. You really feel close to nature and you, there's something about these big majestic trees that have probably been here for at least a hundred years and these massive trees you're sleeping right in the middle of them and, and um, it's, it's really a cool, a really cool atmosphere. Now we're gonna go from the upper deck to the original tree house. So now we are in the original tree house. If you can remember from the explanation downstairs, we built the original tree house behind us and then we built the deck with the stairs and this so this is at the top of the stairs and the the first deck that we built onto the original treehouse so that now it's all enclosed it used to be just all open but now it's all enclosed with walls and a roof and everything and so this is our our dining room for an entryway for the original treehouse and so as we come through here now we're going into what was the original tree house and you can kind of see it's like a triangle shape because we're basically in between the three trees about 10 feet up or 12 feet up uh, ab uh, above the, uh, um, uh, the base of the trees. And so this is the original tree house. You can kind of see the wall structure right here. This was the original wall of the tree house. And then we, when we opened this up and built this other deck and, and made this all part of the tree house, then we opened that wall up. We took the door out and the ladder downstairs used to come and you would come right in here. Then we kind of heaved this, uh, this homemade stove into here. And originally we didn't have any insulation. It was just uh, kind of a bare bones cabin. And I would just come up here with my buddies and hang out and spend time up here doing writing. And, and then wh what happened was we had some people that would come to stay and we built this loft here where the, there's a queen size bed and a single bed right above us in this loft. But we'd have people come and stay and they would, um, they would stay in this part. You know, year after year, we kept adding things. We insulated it. So then, because there was times we'd come up here in the middle of the winter and it would be, you know, zero degrees and the wind would be blowing and you could literally feel the wind coming through the walls even with the fire going. After a while, we just kind of kept adding things and adding to it and insulating it and finishing it. And then we, we realized that, well, we want, everybody loved it so much that we wanted to be able to open it up and, and let people experience uh, the tree house and our property as well. So this is the original tree house and you can kind of see on the walls and um, a lot of it's recycled materials, just old um, plywood from other jobs 
that I picked up and we patchworked the plywood in. This again, most of this is, is probably like 70 to 80 percent recycled materials with, um, you know, these are uh, floor joists here are uh, milled lumber that we milled. A lot of recycled materials in this original treehouse. We were just kind of building it just out of pocket and just uh, as we could little by little. You can see that the floor I was actually originally just trying to save money. I put like a half inch sheet, a half inch sheet of plywood down and then I covered it with planking just like um, it, this was actually uh, from a mill. They were seconds that I would pick up and, and then I would just um, you know season them and, and then I used them for the floor so it, it kind of gives it a um, I mean, it's a real cabin look because it really is a real cabin built uh, with a lot of recycled materials. There's a, a small little dining dining area here. And so as we come around here, there's just a coffee station. And then there's a, um, a, a hot, we keep a hot pad that we can set up in the kitchen. And then there's a wood stove. We usually don't let people start fires in the summer because it gets so baking in here. If you get a fire in here in the summer, it'll just bake this area out and it's hard to hard to get it uh, cooled back down. Then we also have a futon couch in, uh, a futon bed and couch in the original treehouse area. We have satellite TV and Wi-Fi and um, all the accommodations, just a, a nice sitting area. We've had, you know, up to seven or eight people actually stay in here at a time. People sleeping everywhere. Then there's a ladder that goes up to the, um, the loft and there's a queen size bed up there and a single bed as well. And just then that transitions us into this little kitchenette. Originally, we didn't have uh, running water up here. We just had um, a, just a, a tub sink and we would haul water up here so people could use it. But now we have hot and cold running water. So we have a little kitchenette with a microwave and refrigerator and toaster oven and hot plate so people can make, uh, make food in here as well. We actually have, we've had people live in here for six months at a time for the whole winter. A lot of times we'll rent it out for the whole winter and they stay pretty comfortable, you know, all winter long. And that's, you know, that's when they can fire up the fire, the um, fireplace. And um, yeah, so it's all insulated. So it, it stays pretty toasty in here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about how uh, we originally built this part just on, on a basically a shoestring budget. But um, so basically, you know, we had different projects going on around the property we had we had built on the original house and then uh, we um, we had a uh, the church in town that we remodeled we actually remodeled two churches in town and we just took a lot of those materials and I would just put piles of materials and tarp them off and then we also um, a lot of the materials on the extended part of the tree house we actually had bought a deck of logs and we and we milled them ourselves and so that that deck of logs was about five thousand. I think I had about five thousand dollars into that deck of logs. But I built two two greenhouses. I built the tree houses, um, and so that those materials uh, really got spread around. And but probably the original the original tree house, you know, really wasn't. You know, we were building our own our regular house at the same time. So this was just kind of an afterthought. Probably the original tree house, the materials into you know there was some plywood and. A lot of that was uh, a lot of that was extra stuff we just picked up. So I just don't think there was into the original treehouse. There was maybe maybe a couple thousand dollars um, and uh, into to, to building it. This really wasn't planned out as a as a as a business. Originally, it was just kind of a hobby. And when I got on the property, even before we started building the house, I started building the treehouse because I'm like, there's those three trees. There's got to be a treehouse in those trees. So. So yeah, so it's just kind of a, um, you know, you see, you see something like that and it just begs for a treehouse. In, in hindsight and just in building the treehouse, um, <clears throat> I probably could have made some of the areas just a little larger, like the deck for the, the second part for the bathrooms. If I would have made it two feet longer, the bathrooms would have been um, quite a bit larger. We talked a little bit about the, the field house bathroom, but the tree house has its own bathroom, but it's also sitting right over the cistern, which this building is actually sitting in the trees. And so we, we needed to put the bathroom over the cistern just for the, the plumbing. So the, this original tree house, you have to walk out across the hall into its own private bath. As you can see, that bathroom's pretty tiny. It's got little fixtures and it's a tiny bath, fully functional, hot and cold running water with, uh, with a shower and everything. But, you know, like I said, you know, in hindsight, if we would have made that a couple feet wider, it would have just given those bathrooms a little bit more room. And then, you know, I mean, 
this this little hallway in here or it almost seems more like a hallway is only like probably about seven foot wide so you know and I've thought about adding on a little more here and there but actually the original tree house is just it kind of was, sits in the trees and I was um, always very happy with the original tree house we probably wouldn't have made too many modifications in the original tree house you know when we first started building it um, you know like I said, it was just a hobby to start with, so it wasn't like we were I was setting out planning to build it for any certain reason other than just to have a like a man cave you know just to have a place to to have fires and you know you can't you can't smoke in in the house anymore so um I have a place to come with my buddies and smoke cigars and 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 kind of get away from everything so yeah, yeah, so we just wanted to let you know how you could get a hold of us and you can pretty much stay year round. We're connected with Airbnb. You can find us on Airbnb. You can look up Treehouse in Homer, Alaska, and we'll come up right away. And we tell people when we're out traveling, just look up Treehouse in Homer, and it'll come up, come up on Google or search engine. You can also get a hold of us um, on our website, which is homercottonwoodcabins.com. And um, we're also on Facebook under Cottonwood Cabins, and you will be able to find those links uh, below.